It's never been easier to find out what your body is up to. Your smart bracelet can keep track of your blood pressure and heart rate. Your smart scales can tell you how that diet is coming along. And your wearable can count how many steps you'll take today and tell you how well you slept last night. But what exactly are you going to do with all this information? Sure, you could ask your friend's cousin's wife who is a doctor if you really need to rack up 10,000 steps a day. But she doesn't know the particulars of your situation, does she? And of course you could, like many millions of others, turn to the internet to find out if your blood pressure is normal. And while you're at it, find out that you can't eat jelly beans anymore because the news says they're bad for your health. The grand irony of being able to track our health in such detail is that we can easily, and needlessly, worry ourselves about things that in the past we wouldn't have bothered with. In other words, having health data is only helpful if you know what to do with it. For that, you need evidence-based science and access to people and smart devices that can interpret it for your particular case. What would make sense is to have a way to collect your health data from all your various devices, store it together in the cloud, and give your doctor an easy way to access and interpret that information. These tools are just now becoming available. They allow doctors to better track, manage and prioritise patients. And they allow you to get the benefit of all the data you collect, without all of the worry. So, instead of looking at your wearable and guessing that you should be walking more, you can have an expert look at your data remotely and tell you that what you really need is to get that extra hour of sleep every night. And that should be a lot easier now that you don't have to worry quite so much about what to do with your health data. To find out more about the Philips Living Health series, visit www.newscientist.com living underscore health.